So what's going on people, welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to another Battlefield 2042 video. Uh, now in today's video we're going to be going over the official gameplay trailer for Battlefield 2042. All of this got shown in the Xbox conference, I decided to wait a day just to see what type of stuff I could see in the actual footage. Um, just because a lot of the YouTubers that I've seen put up videos, you know the ones that you always go and watch, they've just posted the fastest thing they can and presumably they're going to try and showcase additional things um, over the time uh, but for myself I want to try and nitpick at some of the stuff so we're going to be doing it a little bit different to everybody else we're going to be doing it as more of a rewind we're going to watch it and then we're going to nitpick different things we'll keep on going back and to so I'm, I will apologize towards that one um, but I just want to try and see the most amount of things that I can in this entire trailer. So I hope you guys enjoy, hopefully you do enjoy this type of video. Um, if you do want to see some more stuff like this, for more stuff that we actually see, um, for myself I will probably do some more stuff towards different games as well. Uh, but right now Battlefield has been the game that I'm probably more hyped for. Um, if you are hyped for Battlefield, please remember to like the video because um, it does show the support towards the video itself. And um, let's get straight into it with the first scene. So as you can tell, uh, first thing, as long as the actual footage, there you go, uh, that's a little bit of a better thing. Um, the first thing that we see that is, this gameplay is all the pre-alpha. So um, even though it looks incredibly good, and I will say it does look very good, it's all pre-alpha. Um, anything can change with throughout this entire game footage. Um, all of this has been captured live in game uh, with up to 128 players. So this has been recorded presumably on the Xbox Series X uh, just because it was showcased on the Xbox uh, but it could have been all recorded from the PC as well. Um, so let's get straight into the uh, first part of the gameplay which we will try and pause. Um, which we did just to, uh, um, on this entire thing. We've got a lot of different things that we can actually see throughout this entire part. Um, one of which is that we've got four player squads. Um, you can see them all in the corner. Um, but throughout this, uh, there are certain ones that are doubled up. So that means you can double up on different squad mates. That means you're not restricted, um, especially if you go into squads, of course. And on this specific screen itself, and it does look incredibly good, um, this one is playing as McKay. So as McKay, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, um, he does have his grappling hook, which does have infinite amount of uses. I'm guessing it might have the smallest bit of like a cooldown towards it. Otherwise you'll be able to just become a Spider-Man instead really. Um, but also you can especially tell that he does have claymores and the claymore counter for his claymores is five. So um, there's quite a lot. Um, you can specifically, well, you can customize your character completely. The only things you can't change is the abilities that he has. Um, everything else throughout the entire class, you can just pick and choose. So if you want an RPG as um, a specific, like a sniper type of role person, you can do. So that means you can actually take out vehicles, whether you're being a recon person or whether you're, you know, just a normal assault. You can have an RPG, you can have claymores, you can have whatever the all the equipments are, you can have that. Now, as you can also tell, um, you've got a lot of different things throughout this entire page. Um, one of which is that we are playing on the map Breakaway, and on Breakaway we do have eight different points. Um, for this entire, I think, the whole footage that we've got, um, every single one of the maps is all played on Conquest, because right now that's the only one I think they kind of want to showcase. Just because Conquest has been the one where it's just change the smallest bit and as you can tell on the screen in the bottom left hand corner it does see one or e1 so that means he's going towards or he's just gone into echo and you have to capture each and every different sector in the entire capture zone to actually secure the zones so now if we continue to play this we'll try and stop it on a different bit which we just did um on this screen uh we can actually see two of our new specialists um two of which we do have the names for this one that he's playing as is called sundance so sundance i would gather has a uh, different specific um ability sets um i one of which i think is the passive ability of having this wingsuit uh we've seen the wingsuit throughout everything so far but one of which has been this sp like particular 
move set entirely. Um, on this entire screen, it's completely different. Uh, you can see a dead enemy, and as well, you can see right above it as Floppy Ragdoll. That is indeed another specialist, which um, I will come to later, but we have seen this in the actual trailers in the past. Um, on this entire screen, he is just still in the HQ. Um, <laughs> people haven't noticed this, is that he's still in the HQ. Um, on the minimap, you can see the tank icons, so you can see vehicle icons um, throughout the entire thing. You can see how far away B is from just the HQ itself, and B's already been captured. It's 620 uh, meters, kilometers away, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's quite far away. Um, there's a lot of different things. I'm guessing that, yes, of course, Sundancer uh, or Sundance is going to have this as his possibility for the wingsuit. Um, his abilities in the corner screen, which on every single character, the ability or the, the permanent ability for every single specialist is always in the third category. So in this one, we don't know what his category or what his ability is actually going to be. Um, a lot of people are trying to speculate it, we don't know just yet, but it does have two uses, and this is just from spawn, so I would guess that it's going to be a default two uses. His equipment, um, we still don't know what this is, because the equipment from the previous screen and from this screen are completely different. Um, as I said, you can have an RPG, uh, you can have a Claymore. In this one, it does look like a Breach Charge, which um, would be um, a very weird thing to have. It does look incredibly different, or instead it could be more of an EMP type of thing. And on the screen, we do get the early glance of what the Magnum is with its very small scope. Um, <laughs> it's bringing back the large Magnum scopes. Of course, the sniper scopes for the Magnum is finally back, thank God. Um, a lot of different things throughout this entire screen. There's so many more things to go through and I am um, very much... This is literally nine seconds in. Um, so I'm going to have to try and just play it for the first page as well. You can see the vehicle. Um, this one is... I can't even think of which one this one is. But this is the LA TV4. Um, this does have four passenger slots. Uh, one of which isn't occupied with a specialist. Um, as you can tell, probably in the lower side with the four specialists on this corner, um, there are going to be certain ones which we haven't actually seen yet. Um, I know for one, throughout this entire scene, um, we do get to see nine different specialists. So three of them, we don't know what they are, um, but we do get to see nine different specialists. And in this certain zone as well, uh, you can kind of see how it actually looks for when you're going into a enemy occupied zone. Um, all of the map turns completely red, so the ones that you have are completely blue, and then the enemy ones are all red. Um, as you can tell in the top right corner, you do have a little marker for C1, so that means you know you can individually mark the capture zones instead of just having it as just C. You can individually mark the, I don't know what they're going to be for just C1, C2, C3 any of which you can just go towards. So now if we keep on continuing to play, I will try and not stop it as much as I can. Um, right now, I'll just keep on having it going because I'll be able to stop it. I just decided to just stop it at that point, just to show you guys. So as you can tell on this screen, we do have a lot of different things. Um, one of which is that we do have different things throughout this entire thing. Um, on the screen, I've, I just decided to pick it as like the smallest bit. This one is being played as Maria Falk. Um, the reason why I'm saying that it is for Maria Falk is because it does have the syringe pistol, uh, which does have a limited amount of uses. Now, I'm guessing you'll be able to fill up this. Um, at this current time, it does have 12 uses. And then it does have an RPG towards the actual thing. Um, I think most of them, it looks like a grenade, uh, but it could be also a C4 set. And as you can also tell on this scene as well, we do get to see another vehicle as the MD540 Nightbird, which I'm guessing is the little bird type of thing. But this has got four different seats. That means you've got the pilot, the spotter and two passenger seats. So now if we keep on going throughout this, we flick to another screen, uh, we have a lot of different things. Um, throughout this entire thing, you can even tell there's a lot of different things towards everything. So if we just scoot back the smallest amount on that screen, and we flick back um, one more thing, so that means we're not in the damage of this one to actually see what this one is. Uh, there you go, this was the one that we've got. So this is the Apache. Um, this is the Apache Warchief, 
as you can tell as well every single vehicle right now does have infinite amount of ammo now it can change um this is one screen that we didn't actually see and a lot of youtubers are saying that we didn't actually see any footage of a two-seater helicopter but we have this is the two-seater hel the helicopter that we've got which is the apache warchief so we've got driver and we do have a gunner seat and on the screen as well, you can see just in the middle part, uh, we do have a small radar. So that means, you know, if a missile comes towards you, you can actually see it. Um, I'm guessing this would only work towards a lock-on missile. So, you know, don't presume that you'll be able to see any free firing missiles coming towards you. It's only going to be towards lock-ons. My guessing entirely towards that. So now if we just continue to go towards this one you do see one guy right at the top seb now that one it only changes towards the tens as far as i can tell you've got a reload animation towards a bolt action um this is the 10 bolt action one and towards mckay as well he does have 44 rounds it seems um a lot of different things towards all of this um there's so many things that we've got and this is the first look towards the grappling hook. Um, the grappling hook, as I said, it's there's no limit towards it. You just have to move back towards it itself. Now, the one thing that I didn't actually notice before is that there's a little um, monitor thing just below your thing itself. And I want to just check it towards this. And I think this is the sprint icon. Um, the only reason why I'm saying this is just because it uses some of his energy towards the, the little slide that he does and that incredibly it looked incredibly beautiful that did um the one thing that i didn't pick up on on this is that the guy that's assassinating right now is our another thing which he does have dozer just writing on his sleeve his name isn't dozer i'm guessing that's going to be just his like calling name instead it's just dozer just because it's on there but on the screen you can tell that he's got a different assassination animation um compared to the one that we saw in the actual trailer now this could be something that we have um just as a unlock or throughout the battle pass of course we're going to have different animations some of them are going to be completely elaborate and they could be completely stupid but um you know we could have it incredibly well as well um we don't know if there is going to be a cooldown towards the grappling hook I hope that there is, um, just because it could be um, abused quite a lot. And right now we don't have a certain range towards the grappling hook. I'm guessing um, as soon as the game actually comes out, there's going to be a lot of videos towards the range and everything towards that um, from probably some of your, your famous YouTubers. Um, but there's going to be a lot of videos towards testing stuff as well, which I'm hoping to be able to test it with mates, just the smallest amount or some subscribers if people want to you know try it out um just because to see if you can actually grapple hook a vehicle uh just because a grappling hook towards like a jet and you just fly off because think you're going towards the vehicle itself if you're going at a certain speed you might not be able to catch it in time so that means you can just float across the entire map which could be interesting but i don't seem to have like the knowledge towards like you won't be able to survive that <laughs> um just that's just you know a guessing work towards it you might not be able to survive it but who knows it'll be a fun thing to do uh, there'll be a lot of videos towards that it'll be quite fun to see so as we keep on seeing all of this uh, it looks incredibly cool and uh, we do have a sandstorm coming across as well so this is the weather environments that we're going to see throughout this entire game um this is just the passive type of thing so that means it's gonna be hard to see and throughout this entire video there's just a lot of sand everywhere so that's just an entire thing towards this um the c objective it does look like it's going to be arch or it's probably going to be charlie if anything but um, there's going to be a lot of different things. This is our first look at our uh, Pavlo type of thing. It's called the Condor. This has actually got six seats. Um, there are two that are going to be passenger. Um, I'm guessing on the passenger you might be able to just shoot your normal guns. But after that you do have the pilot. Then you have three gunner seats. The three gunner seats are going to be very useful towards this. Um, and on our little select screen on the side, we do have the recon, then we've got the dozer, which will come to the name afterwards, and we do have the other one as well, which I don't think we've actually seen just yet. It looks like more of the typical soldier. Um, this guy doesn't actually look like McKay at all, so this could be a completely new person entirely. Now, if we continue this, um, it's taken over the entire stadium. Now, we're going towards additional things. 
Um, one thing I didn't actually check was the screen just before this. Um, it just split it. Um, that one was my case, so there's nothing new about that one, but that does have the payload flying across. That's what it actually looks like. You've got two lower guns by there. Um, then you've got the normal ones, so you, you do have a normal upper gun, then you've probably got two separate guns on this one side that are in, inside use instead, so that would be quite nice to have. And then if you go towards this one, you actually first see the addition of the drop-in vehicles, which is the call-in mechanic that is actually going to be in the game itself. Um, we don't know how this is going to work yet, I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the previous Battlefield, so you know the way that you actually have it is you earn a certain amount of points and you can unlock it for per squad now i feel like it would work a lot better towards the per squad wise and you know if you are the squad leader you'll be able to bring in a vehicle if you're just a normal like a small one you can just bring in the smaller vehicles instead for your personal use i feel like that would be a lot more of the balance towards it but you know as you can tell we do have the tank um there's some extra screens afterwards where you actually get the tank name instead um on this one this is the m1a5 the normal tank in Siley. but on the screen you do get to see that we do have four slots uh, we've got the driver we've got a top gunner a back gunner and we do have a spotter um, now in previous battlefields we have had a lot of different things where we've only been able to have uh, three tank people throughout this entire tank uh, where we usually have a normal gunner a top gunner and a spotter that's been the tank layout towards i think it was three and to our, towards four as well in battlefield one and four um in one and five we've actually had the upgrade towards the tank so it's nice to have actually kept that um and as well towards the tank you do have infinite ammo as well um there's a lot of things to go over and i'm gonna probably lose my voice after all of this we're doing a proper deep dive deep 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 dive towards all of this um on the screen We've got the next part, oh, we're just laying down facts the whole way through. As you can tell at the top, it does say how many players are actually on the point. At this exact point, we've got 11 on 1, so that means there's literally one lone survivor on this entire part. Um, and you can actually tell as well, you do have the, I think it was the, the ATV type of uh, vehicle, or the, uh, the land uh, buggy type of thing, the land quad. That's in wreckage, that looks incredibly cool. Um, on this bit, you can tell you've got the revive symbol. The revive symbol shows up very early in this. Um, Adrian, RIP Adrian. Um, and C1, of course, is captured, completely captured. Um, he fires the helicopter, which oh, it just looks so incredible. Just look at this again. Oh, oh. The good old days of shooting everything. It just looks so good. Um, right, on this bit, this is the LATV4. Um, of course, it does have a little dashboard screen right in the front. As I'm guessing it might actually showcase different things. People don't notice. It's got a little music thing on the top as well. Right by there. Right by there. I'll try and zoom into it. But a tiny, tiny music thing. Um, I'm guessing it would show off like little um, things towards the game itself. Just because, of course, you'd be able to have um, different things towards this one. Um, now, on the screen, um, we actually get our first glimpse at our first thing itself is Delta. Now, um, Delta does have a different pistol, don't get to see it, but he does have his ability showcased on the screen, which is the shield, which we do get to see later on. Um, one thing people haven't actually noticed on this screen is that the gun that Delta is using only has three slots that are changeable. Now, the changeable scene comes in just the smallest bit later, but this has actually only got... Well, actually, no, I was wrong. It does have four. It just blurred it out. But, um... Ignore me towards that one. The reason why it blanked out the four slot is because of the tornado that's coming in. That was my complete error. Sorry about that one. Dislike it if if you want. I'm completely fine about that one. But, um, the little bird crashes straight into it just because it got hit by the tornado. They can affect air vehicles quite a lot. Um, and at this exact point, you can tell that the screen kind of, like, flickers. That means you know you're getting close to it. Later on in the video, you actually get to see certain different things afterwards. Um, just to showcase, um, you know, how close you're actually getting to the tornado. Uh, just because you don't want to just be randomly picked up um, throughout this entire thing, you know. It's not the best thing to have. Um, the pistol that Delta is using is the G 
5.57. Now, this one seems like it is the automatic pistol. Um, it's been in past ones as G5. I do remember using this quite a lot. Uh, but, you know, on this screen, we actually get to see the new type of thing towards this one. Now, um, one thing that a lot of different YouTubers actually haven't been mentioning is that you can only see three different slots per thing. Um, now, we don't know what button is going to be to activate this. Um, this does look very similar towards um, the Crisis type of customization, which it does work. But on this one, I feel like we're going to have to pick and choose what things we want to try and switch out in-game. Um, this type of thing is going to be the in-game stuff. And on the screen, you can see Dozer in his full quality, looking very smart there, Dozer. Um, <laughs> but... Um, throughout this entire thing we've got three slots and on these two we've actually got slots that we don't actually use for some reason he's not using a bipod or a you know anything a foregrip if anything stupid player already stupid stupid use use a foregrip for christ's sake um <laughs> and as you can tell on this one um i'm guessing he does switch it on this one he switches it to the large one towards the suppressor and then he goes for a small scope and he changes everything towards this. As you can tell, he switches that, and he switches to the foregrip. So there's his ammo. Um, there's going to be a sight. There's going to be a front nozzle, and there's going to be a below one. Now, to pick and choose towards all of this, it's nice that there isn't actually an animation towards it all, apart from just it just in and out. You know, you see it, you don't. Um, you're going to have to pick and choose which things you want in the thing. So if you do want a large scope and then a smaller scope later on, I would pick one or the two, and Iron Sights, of course. Ammo Clip makes sense. The bottom ones, there's going to be a lot of different variations towards all these guns. So you're going to have to just pick and choose which are the best scopes you're going to want on your guns. And as well, you're going to have to pick and choose what type of ammo types, uh, what type of additional uh, attachments you want for your guns, just because you can't do that in-game. But um, you can do this in-game instead. Uh, there's going to be limitations towards the in-game um, swapping in and out um on other screens you're gonna have to pick and choose what things you want so we'll go into this one and this is the first scene where we have another look at sundancer as we were playing a sundancer just then um as you can tell as well the little icon at the bottom um it changes from what this actual layout is to um one thing afterwards if we go flick towards the later part it does change the actual icon which is very nice that it actually changes it in game um it's one thing that we didn't really notice and as well of course you've got the same thing above here the seven and four and then of course on this screen it would be nice to actually know what these things are and we know that we're going to get them later on um but we don't know what they're going to be just yet we don't know what sundance's abilities are they could be an emp grenade um which if we just keep on going across i'd hope that we actually get to see certain things. Um, as you can tell in this corner piece, that is C4 on Sundance's um, ability set, just because it goes down from a 3 to a 4. So he does, uh, well, 3 to a 1. So on this screen, he does put on 3 on this, and he does use 2 C4 on that. And you do get a little prompt to swap mags as well. It's quite nice to have, but he was only having one bullet, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, throughout this entire thing, uh, we don't notice anything towards ammo and on the screen you can actually see that it does have a detonation um, There is two C4 being planted on that one. So it does tell you how many C4 you've actually used which is a Nice thing to have. Um, it doesn't reset after that one um, on the screen It doesn't actually reset just the smallest bit between it. It doesn't reset that um, I'm guessing that's just a thing that they didn't actually reset in the game. Hopefully it does reset it but um keep on going we get to see the first glimpse towards the grappling hook um well the actual zip lines across the buildings this is a long way for the zip line to go it's nearly a hundred meters for the entire thing nice little shooting on the entire thing some things that we might not have seen throughout this entire thing um and one thing that i didn't actually notice is the um little compass towards the bottom of the screen um R.I.P. Floppy Ragdoll, he goes down on that one. Um, I feel like this is the first scene that we actually see of the... It looks like the Russian Apache, but this has got different screens to it. Now, 
a lot of people have been saying that it's going in two different directions towards this. I don't think it is going in two different directions. I think it's just the angle it's coming in on and the bullets have moved. But you know what? It might be two different directions and it might just showcase different things. Now the Sundancer stuff, this, as you can tell, is not the ability. This isn't the ability, this is the passive ability. Um, just because his actual ability uh, doesn't get used for this entire video. Um, it's very weird that it doesn't get used. Um, it would be nice to actually showcase it, but of course, it's not. Um, in this screen, we are playing as um, Rhea or Falk, uh, just because you can actually tell that it's got the syringe, it's got an RPG, and it's also got the grenades. Now, that does confirm that this one is grenades, because the C4 does look completely different. On the screen as well, we do have a self selection towards the pistol. Um, I feel like the, the pistols could be used as a, you know, the same mechanic towards it. Uh, we didn't get the option before, but it would be quite nice. Um, some things that we don't notice towards all of this is, god damn, there's a lot of different things towards this. McKay is parachuting in. Um, he does have a different gun, the AK-24. Um, the flares slicing off. He's got the parachute. There's so many things towards this. Um, just, I'm just going to keep on pausing it as much as I can. You can hear screaming. You've got like a ping system, which is quite nice to have. Uh, the ping system looks like it is a different one, or it could be squad makes ping and stuff instead, because it does have a yellow icon. Um, or it could just be completely in-game, your teammates in-game instead of in your squad ping and stuff. We don't know just yet, but it does have a ping system towards it. Now we've got the footage towards the Tuk Tuk. Um, it's only got three players, of course. Uh, Battlefield or DICE have said that each and every vehicle slot is going to be usable, so, um, you know, You'll be able to do something in the vehicle, of course, in these ones, you'll be able to shoot your gun. It's normal. There's a massive explosion right there, which we don't know what that is. But the the VTOL type of thing is being, you know, completely demolished and just being taken away. On this screen, we're playing as um, Delta, which he's using just the pistol, it seems like. Just, you know, just for why, why the hell not. Um, <laughs> all of this stuff is just incredibly crazy. Um, I feel like this is the point where, you know, you actually, you you haven't pulled your parachute, but this is the final point before you, you know, are just actually playing it. Because in this entire thing, it's just incredible. Because it's just entering the next era, everything is just going towards it all. It's just incredible. If we'll just watch this one thing again, just because of the storm itself. There's so many things, as I, as I said before. Um, the actual thing itself, I just skipped past it by accident, I'm so sorry, um, that you actually hold up your hand. Um, as I said, we're playing as Falk in this one, just because of the gloves, you can tell. Um, but you hold up your hand as you're incredibly close to it instead. I feel like this is the final warning, just to pull your parachute, and this is just the final part. Just pull your parachute as you're in this, otherwise you're being taken away, um, and you're probably going to die as well. I feel like in this entire thing, there's going to be so many different like clips about like snipers just going into the thing and they're just going to shoot. Um, throughout all of this, there's so many different things that we just don't notice. Um, and I will try and stop a certain part. This video is going to be incredibly long, but I'm sorry to everyone. Um, this one, parachute, as I said, it's just a parachute, McKay. There's so many different things. I will put some images on the screen of all of the different things that we've just had throughout all of this. <laughs> so many things. This is so much. I'm sorry, there's so many things. The first glimpse of Casper, he's got his um, turret by there as well. Um, it does, it's not the best looking screenshot. I'll try and get a better one, but you can't. Um, but this is the, that was the first glimpse of Casper. He's using the sniper. So as I said, you can use anything towards all of this. Uh, one person that we didn't actually see throughout this entire thing has been the recon one. Um, so sorry about that one well casper is the recon we haven't seen anything about boris um i didn't see a single bit of gameplay from boris there was falk um as i said there's the shield for that one and we do see just in the corner of it by there we do see a portable shield which i don't think that's sundance but it could be sundance or it could be the extra one where it just has a portable shield and you place it down it could be um deltas but that could be incredibly OP, just to have a ton of shields running towards you. It'd be a good setup to have, you know, two deltas, and you're running towards, like, a 
a funnel type of area and you just have the two shields and you just have two that are just sniping at the back or just throwing grenades behind it. Um, throughout that as well, you can just about see certain things. Um, I've just skipped way too far forward in that one. I'm so sorry. Um, just trying to just look at everything. There's so much stuff to look at. So we just go towards that. I have to try and look at it incredibly fast. So that one. And then we've got the explosion. And there's the little shield out by there. Now we don't know who's that one is just yet. It could be Sundance's. But I don't think it is. Um, if it is, then fair enough. It'll be a weird type of matchup. Just because it seems like Sundance's is more of the wingsuit. And you get a bit more lift towards it. A bit more momentum. To have something that stops him being a momentum person. Um doesn't make any sense so we'll just see what that one is uh you know what that could be an ammo box we don't know just yet that could easily be an ammo box if we keep on going um falk was actually using its um Prevali thing just there just to uh, reload in it so it did get used it feels like you can just use it on anything on the floor all of this is just incredible again we've got delta again it's just so many things about this there's just the, the Rocket going oh there's just so much there's just so much just, watch it. just the rocket going off. The rocket just going up. And yeah, you can parachute around it, just everything about this is just incredible. I'm sorry, there's just so many things. But throughout this entire thing, there's nine specialists that we saw. Um I will put it on the screen. Prepare for more July twenty second, two thousand and twenty one. Remember to everyone to go check it out. I will put it on the screen. The nine specialists that we actually saw. This is part of the Reddit post. I will put the Reddit post down below. Just so that means you can, you guys can actually see where I got it from. Um, but there's nine specialists. There are six that have been confirmed, and there are three that we actually didn't get the names of, or we didn't actually see the abilities. Or we might have seen the abilities and we didn't notice it. Anything that I might have noticed about this entire thing, please comment it down below. I've just done a complete deep dive towards the trailer. Um, a three minute trailer in about 36 minutes. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe for more game content in the future. I will do another video where I am completely fast towards what we saw about the Xbox trailer. Or the Xbox conference in the smallest amount of time possible. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.